Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I have had a request from an Australian viewer. We're so global here at Astor's Place. And she's getting married in a few months time. She absolutely loves Waratahs and aren't they just the most delicious flowers? Unfortunately, I don't have fresh ones because it's the wrong season here. And I just must say that um, for those who don't know, I'm here in New Zealand, in Auckland, the other side of the world. We have a, bi a biodiversity issue in this country where we don't let anything in that could cause any harm to a lot of the stuff that we grow, which I think is all over the world now, and they don't want things crossing borders, etc., etc. So here in New Zealand, we're a long way away from anywhere, and the, our government is, is protecting us as much as they can, especially for our growers of fruits and vegetables. Um, so not much gets in. Um, it is the wrong season for me to be getting Waratahs, but where possible, if I can, I will find something that's similar or if I need to, I will use artificial. So I've found the Waratahs. Now, um, the, I'm very sorry, I can't remember the viewer's name because I had a little glitch with my phone, but she wanted to know what she could do on a budget just using the Waratahs and how to do something that look visually stimulating for a wedding table. Well, I hope I've got you covered. So what I did was I went looking and just by chance I fell upon these beautiful wine bottles which have been provided by or manufactured by Mitch and Berry in Australia. Um, I really, really love that the bottle has this beautiful sleeve that's got the Waratahs on it. And sometimes just one color, if you're doing one flower, just by like even a red container, if you couldn't find one of these, like I'd get a wine bottle and I'd paint it with chalk paint, you know, red chalk paint, or even cover the whole outside, decoupage it or whatever. But I just thought that that was really lovely. And um, I just want you to know that I had to buy two of these because it was such a beautiful bottle. And what's more, the champagne was lovely. So to Mitch and Berry Australia, thank you so much for, and your art department for coming up with something that is going to be perfect for what we're going to do today. Now, when it comes to laying out, your if you're using one flower, um, I would use two. So I've got two bottles here and I'm just going to stick, fill it with water and then just stick your Waratah into it. Have one a little bit higher and one a little bit lower. And you can see that I've used this lots of times, but anyway, I'll, I'll wire that in. So already I'm starting to form a really lovely visual that's visually interesting and exciting. Now to that, what I would do, how easy is this? You know, you just set your table and what I would do is I would have a white table, beautiful linen or damask. I'd have a nice red table runner or perhaps something black and white now you could just put them as they are onto the table surface but if you want to like extend the design a little bit further what about using a white plate and putting those onto the plate like so then getting because red is your main highlighting color or the main what's the main colour. I've got a couple of candles here. Now, when you're buying these candles, they've got these these plastic sleeves on them and they normally have this little, another little sleeve. I'll just get rid of that because I don't want that. Um, it's safety first at all times. That there's on there to come off. It's just advertising to tell you that it's a rose scented garden candle. So take that off and then that could go onto there. Then beside that, I should have done this before we started. However, I wasn't thinking I was that excited about coming up with this good idea. Take that off as well, because we don't want that. And then getting a smaller saucer to put that with it. So you've got the white, I would have, as I said, the white table, a red table runner or black and white stripe to go and down the centre of the table. And then when it comes to your glasses, you could just have your plain glasses as so, as such, or why not just take it to another level? And what I've done with this is I've just used the glass and tile paint and then just painted the outside of the, well, the, the stem and the base of my glass and then all the instructions are with it but once you, and I've done this a lot so just refer back to glass and tile painting using the glass and tile paint um, once you've painted that let it dry and then put it in the oven and that is going to be um, that'll just set and become dishwasher and, and all the other kind of washing if you didn't want to do that the other thing that I like to do is 
red nail polish or whatever colored nail polish you want and what I've done with this is and I've picked out the red that I thought that would be um, well there were two reds there was either the dark red in the center or this lovely bricky red or fire engine red as I call it from the outer petals so that's what I've picked up on because it also matched in with the candle and then all I did was turn it upside down and then just put a drop of nail polish onto there if you just wanted just a little hint of color so I thought that that was an easy, inexpensive way of putting together a wedding without spending a lot of money, just focusing on one flower. And as I said, the viewer from Australia just loved the Waratah. And then just building up from that one main red colour. And I think that that'd be beautiful. And then for a bouquet, what I would do is I would just have two long Waratah, one, as I've done here, one long and then another one, and then just put some ribbon or something red or green around the stem to hold them together. There you go, easy, easy, simple way of decorating for a wedding. Didn't cost very much. And what you could do is get the, your friends around um, and you could have a lovely glass of wine or get all your friends to buy a bottle and to give you the bottles. And there you have easy, simple designing. And thank you once again to Mitch and Berry Australia's design team for coming up with such a good design idea that has been very, very um, handy for today's demonstration. Thanks for watching and I hope I've been of assistance. See you another day. Thank you.